96% of Americans like donuts with 56% saying they love them. So it's no surprise here in cities like Boston, you can find like 20 donut shops within a mile radius with like 10 Dunkin' Donuts. Well, today I'll be trying as many donuts as possible from many donut shops in Boston and New York to find the one. By the way, did you know that Dunkin' started in Massachusetts? Which kind of explains its popularity here. And I figured, why don't I start with them to set a bar, a standard, so that I have something to compare. Oh my god, that truck is so loud. <laughs> so that I have something to compare to whenever I'm trying other unique donuts. So I got here a glazed and glazed chocolate, which represents Dunkin's East Donut and Cake Donut. Here we go. That is good, but it's cold. Just a standard, nothing fancy. Does its job right? Typical donut. Start with a 6.5. And this one. It definitely is different. It definitely has the cake donut feeling. Very chewy. It's a lot more dense. Done right. Chocolatey donut. Nothing fancy. It's not gonna blow your mind. Another 6.5. Now that we have the standards, let's start our donut hunt. So we consume over 10 billion donuts each year. I highly doubt I'll be able to make a meaningful impact on that number in this video. But from here and on, I will at least, at least get two donuts. One of their recommended bestseller and another that talks to me the most. Just realized. Hey, another Dunkin right here. Step aside, Dunkin. Here's Kane's Donuts featuring over 20 kinds of donuts and the best honey donut in America per travel and leisure. Wow, two Dunkin Donuts I had would be less than one here. Yeah, they are massive. So Cookies and Cream was the one that was talking to me the most. And then the most recommended, the original honey. From the look of it, glaze seems to be yeast. Cookies and cream appears to be cake. Same as Dunkin' Donuts original glaze. Maybe that's the first bite, let's see. Hmm, yeah, the same. Same raised donut with regular glaze. I, maybe, maybe more honey, maybe. 6.5. <laughs> now, Oreo yeah, cookies yeah. and cream. So the base is good. The cream and cookie do add positive flavor, but it's just so identical to the Dunkin's chocolate glaze. I'm glad I stopped by Dunkin first to set a standard, all right? I'll give it a seven. All right, the Newly Hall Marketplace. I wasn't sure if there's a donut place here, so I went for a walk around the market, and inside I found a bunch of delicious food options as well as some sweet looking desserts, even including a cotton candy machine. Ultimately, I did come by a bakery that specializes in bagels, which did carry a few donuts. This is my seat. I think he's trying to uh, untie himself. What an odd show to be watching while eating, right? I found a donut, Boston cream. Time is now one o'clock, meaning it's probably been sitting there for hours. Trying to dive in to find some cream, but yeah, all the way in there. The donut just felt hard. Not dense, not airy, not chewy, just hard. That's like a four. If you're looking for a donut, Get it early. Earlier, the better. I figured I needed some lunch, so. It's a whole bagel. Toppings on the bottom side. Here we go. If I had to give a score on that pizza bagel, 7.5, yeah. A little later, the Samuel Adams statue reminded me I was in Boston. So I did have a lobster roll, <laughs> and then went for more donuts here at Union Square Donuts. Brown butter hazelnut crunch. Bestseller recommendation. And the Neapolitan. One that talked to me the most. I'm gonna start off with the one that was talking to me. Mmm. Raised donut. Quite airy. Little more airy than Dunkin', I'd say. Strawberry glaze with a hint of these chocolates. Very good. 7.5, yeah. This is the first donut that I can just confidently say, oh, this is actually better than Dunkin'. Wow, crumbles. Here we go. Oh, wow. Oh, also looks to be yeast by the looks. Maybe not as airy. Let's see. It will uh, be. Oh, hey, 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 hey. No. All right, what do you want? Let's see which one he goes for. Oh, he left. 
<laughs> it felt much more dense. Nuts do go well with the glaze and the donut. It does make a unique flavor. I'll give this one a seven. This is me in the morning. This is me right now. Mmm. Wow. To about a ten. So initially I thought, okay, I'll do a dozen donut a day for today, tomorrow. Oh, I just, just can't. <laughs> just can't. It's just getting to me. Yeah. Instead of the 12, I'm really gonna have to pick and choose a few. Yeah, let me know in the comments how many donuts you go through every day. Was 12 too ambitious? Yeah, 12 was probably too ambitious. And so, I continued my donut hunt the following day here at the Blackbird Donuts. A cheesecake churro in the Boston cream. Whoa. Let me do my first bite. Wow. Look at this volcanic eruption. Wow, they did not skimp out on the filling. So churro, cheesecake, cheesecake inside, churro on the outside, the cinnamon. I do not know whether this is yeast cake or if they use something else for the, the filled donuts, but it's my favorite dough so far. Eight, yeah, microwave for eight seconds. Could have even been like 8.5 or even maybe nine. All right, now Boston Green. I can start to see the filling. Abundant chocolate outside, raised filling donut. Uh -huh. However, churro cheesecake had so much flavor. Boston cream, in contrast, kind of feels blend. 6.5. If I had the Boston cream first, probably a 7. Yeah. Now, this churro cheesecake is actually quite delicious. This is a very good combination. Following the donuts yesterday, I was getting worried. I was thinking, huh, maybe I don't like donuts. I only enjoy them because I only had them once in a while. Which kind of brings me to the next shop. I said, if I'm not a big fan of donuts, why don't I try a little different non-traditional donuts? Which brings me to more than just a donut, mochi nut. Currently under construction outside. As the name suggests, they do specialize in mochi donuts. Here are the best seller matcha and the talking chocolate. Now, why do I have a spoon? Huh, it's actually pretty hard. I was expecting this to be very soft. Let's see. Sort of crunchy outside, airy, soft, chewy inner with a hint of oil that tells you that it's fried. Finished with the matcha on top or green tea. No, I think it's more than a hint of oil. Feels a little greasy, actually. Yeah. I'll give it a seven. Now, the reason I got the chocolate was actually because of this wafer chocolate cookie. Mmm, I knew it. Mmm. So that little tiny ball, it's crispy like a cookie. Basically, just two things. How good is your dough? And what's the, what's the glaze or what's the topping on it? However, don't look at my nails. Okay, look here. You see how the matcha one, that is actually stain of oil. Whereas no stain of oil, right? It was just the matcha. So perhaps they did a little more oil than they should have. So chocolate one actually comes in a little better. I can give it 7, 7.5. After enjoying some New York pizza in Boston, I was now off to New York. Here I am in New York. You know, New York is a big city. It would take me months to even try most of the normal donut shops. What do I mean by normal shops, you might ask? How about $9 a piece donut that is only available on a Saturday? Or a place that you have to reserve a week in advance to pick them up the next Saturday. Yeah, wild, right? I figured I'll reserve those wild places for a video of their own to see which one is the wildest. And today, I'll just wait in a line a few times, all right? Remember, I said Dunkin' started in Massachusetts and they love Dunkin' Donuts there. And guess how many crispy cream they have in Massachusetts? Bro. Not a single Krispy Kreme in the entire state of Massachusetts. And so, the original since 1937. The original glaze. Pumpkin spice, which is their cake donut. Now, 
You guys probably know Krispy Kreme is not known for their cake donut. It's going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's gone. It's gone. So when it comes to the airy yeast donut, Krispy Kreme does rule. A strong eight. Yeah. Now their cake donut, the pumpkin spice. I don't know. Oh man. So cake donut being cake donut, it is definitely much, much more dense, chewy. I have to chew a lot more before I can say a word. An average cake donut. The spice feels like more like a ginger. Mm, more like a ginger spice. And then there's the hint of pumpkin. If you're a big fan of either one, maybe. But personally for me, I'd say like a six. Yeah, six. Speaking of six, I am here at Six Donuts, which specialize in these mini donuts where you pick your own toppings and glazes to make a set of mini donuts. And here we are. Wow. Dolce glaze. Add it with fruit. <laughs> Mmm, very chewy. It definitely has the oily feeling, but this one adds a good touch of fried feeling coming from the oil. I like this one. Not as dense as duck donuts, but quite dense, yes. I think this is my favorite though. If I had to have donuts without any glaze, any topping, just the original as is, I would pick six donuts, eight. Yeah, I like it. Very like it. Very much like it. Same mini donut. Add it with vanilla glaze. The most recommended topping, cookies and cream. So vanilla and Oreo are both quite sweet. Sweet glaze and sweet topping. And feels a little overdone. I'd say a seven. Yeah, a seven. But Dolce and Fruit Loops, man, I really like this. You know what? Up that to 8.5. Yeah, the Fruit Loops actually add like a bit of refreshing, mm -hmm. refreshing side to otherwise could have been overly sweet donut. Yeah, very good. And I continued to venture and arrived at In the donut pub. I'm on my 15th donut. Is that too much or am I just a weakling? Okay, maybe I'm just a weakling. Yeah, my, my phone just collapsed, making fun of me. Here I got two tiny gluten-free donuts. I just chickened out, yeah. I wasn't ready to tackle. Oh my God, look at that. Look at that size of that thing. Oh, texture is firm. See, hardest donut so far. Wow, there was so much to chew, so dense. I had to really chew for a long, long time before I was able to speak. Very savory, chewy uh, dough. Mm. I like it. For those who are not looking for like overly sweet, strong flavor, I think this could do it. Now with that being said, after all these other donuts that has a lot of taste, flavor, and kick, and this feels quite bland. I'll do it at like a six. And up next. I don't know. If you're expecting like, like a cereal, crispy, crisp texture, Nuh uh, very soggy. It's a mushy, old, old, old cereal. Same blend, savory, chewy dough, but the glaze and the topping, it's a little questionable here. Mm. I'll give it like a six. Maybe the score was too high, 5.5. Please comment below, must try donut shops in your area. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.